Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we are checking out a website where you can find copyright free, royalty free images to use in your projects, whatever they might be, creative presentations, anything like that. This one is called Unsplash, as you can see here. Unsplash is a library of over 3 million photos. About 300,000 photographers have contributed to this website to give you a huge library full of photos that you can use copyright free. If you're interested in the top right here, you can click on this. You can see their license agreement here. All photos can be downloaded and used for free, commercial and non-commercial purposes, no permission needed, though attribution is appreciated. Photos can't be sold without significant modification and compiling photos from Unsplash to replicate a, simil a similar or competing service. So th that's the license agreement there. These photos you can use Great website, great resource. If you wanted to get the most out of it, as I show you kind of a little bit how to use it here, the best would be to create your own profile. If you click in the top here, you can sign in or create your own profile. It's very straightforward. You can log in with Facebook. Uh, you can use an email. It'll quickly walk you through the process there. Once you have that, you can view, view your profile. You can submit your own photos as well if you're a photographer. And uh, there's a few other things I want to show you that you can do here. So. If I'm looking up, maybe I want to do a painting of um, Italy, because I'm an artist, so I like to look up reference images, okay? So I go here, maybe I want to do one here of Venice. I can click on this, and if I just hit download, it will download it for me, but if I hit the little arrow button here, then I can choose the download size, right? It gives me small, medium, large, the original size there. I can also give it a heart or like it, I'll show you where those are. If you hit the plus button here and you have an account, you can add a collection. So I just, I don't have any collections yet, but I could create a new collection and I could say um, Italy reference photos and I can make this private or not and I can create that collection. And now I can add photos to that. Maybe I don't want to download them all, but I can just make my own little library here on Unsplash for me to use. And you can make as many of those collections there as you like. Like I said before, you can also just heart it there. And again, I'll show you in just a minute where that is. If we scroll down here, you'll see the description that the photographer has placed there, the uh, camera that they used, You'll find his name up here. You can share it. You can get more info on the photo there. And there you go. It's free to use under the Unsplash license. You're good to go. iStock always throws their ads in here. And then there's related photos that you can find on Unsplash here as well. I'm going to click off of this. You might notice here that this one says Unsplash Plus. Now, if we go to the top here, you'll see Unsplash Plus. This is the part that isn't free um, for a monthly fee, you can get members only content that is added monthly, unlimited royalty free downloads and enhanced legal protection as well. So you get a little bit more um, for a little bit of a fee. But again, you don't have to do that. There are a ton of things here that you can use for free. Uh, if you have a website where you want to use um, photos like this and build them right into your website, you can check that out here. There's different apps and plugins that you can use. Again, you can become a contributor. Um, there's job listings sometimes here, join the team. And Unsplash is a growing community. They started in 2013 on Tumblr with like 10 photos. And now they have, yeah, like over 3 million, which is pretty crazy here. So if you click on your profile here, you can edit your profile. You can um, add your little profile image there if you like. Then you can see here, I have a couple of liked images. It's not showing that other one because I just barely did it. It takes a few minutes for them to actually show up. And then you can see my collections here again. And that collection, since I just made it, it's going to take a minute here to show up. It won't show up right away. There we go. I just refreshed the page and you can see it be right there. Refreshed it and you can see that's there as well. So if you're looking for reference images, if you're an artist, if you're looking for images for a presentation or uh, maybe you're a digital artist, anything that you're planning to use images for, you can organize them yourself. And then here photos, this would be where I would have uploaded some of my photos for people to use as well, which is something that you can do. So again, Unsplash is an amazing resource. If you're looking for copyright free images, um, it has 
ton of options here. You can keep things organized. If you haven't checked out my other videos about other websites where you can find copyright free images, I encourage you to do so. I will link that playlist for you to check out as well. Thank you for watching this and we'll see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.